In today's video, we'll be exploring the point clustering functionality in ArcGIS Pro. Before we begin, let me briefly discuss what point clustering is. When working with datasets that contain a high density of points, it can be challenging to interpret and analyze them effectively. Point clustering helps overcome this challenge by grouping nearby points into clusters. If there is a high density of points, it will cluster your data proportionally and represent it with a larger clustered point. But for a low density of points, it will use a smaller clustered point, or it won't cluster them at all. ArcGIS Pro provides a simple way to perform point clustering that's much easier than its predecessor, ArcMap. The first step is that you need to add points to your map. So the data set that I'm going to use today is the United States National Parks layer. I'm just going to drag and drop it into my map. Next, I'll just zoom into my layer a bit better. So as you can see, we have over 400 points scattered across the United States. To use point clustering, I'll have to first click my layer in the table of contents. Next, I'll click my contextual ribbon where it says Feature Layer. So as you can see, there's a drop-down for aggregation. Now, I'm going to click that button. Finally, I'm going to select Clustering. So as you can see, we now have circles that are proportionally sized to the number of points that it's clustering. I was expecting to see larger clusters in California, but I guess this dataset also contains national monuments and historical sites too. Anyways, it looks like the Washington DC area has the most aggregated points. One of the nicest things about point clustering is how it dynamically sizes clusters for each zoom level. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'll just zoom into Washington DC. Can you see how it's updating the number of circles as I zoom into my map? You can actually use this feature in ArcGIS Online as well, which is perfect if you have a lot of data points. But the only downside is that there are some limitations on how many points you can display. Plus, it sometimes cuts down on load speeds as well, but it's usually better than displaying all the points collectively. Anyways, that's about all that I have in this video. Today, you learned how to use point clustering in ArcGIS Pro. Whether you're studying crime patterns, customer distribution, or environmental factors, point clustering in ArcGIS Pro helps you explore your data effectively. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments section below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more geospatial insights and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.